Apple's main event was today on March 25th. After one hour and 55 minutes of information, it came down to four major updates. Apple News Plus, Apple Pay, Apple Arcade, and Apple TV. Let's go. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my channel. If you're a return subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by for yet another exciting video. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video at the end, don't forget to smack that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification so you don't miss any new videos that I post. So today, we're talking about Apple's event. After one hour and 55 minutes, they came down to four main update i'm going to try to break it down for you give you a very brief summary hopefully under or around five minutes first let's get started with apple news plus apple news plus is a paid subscription service it is for 9.99 you also get family share planning with that this subscription will include over 300 publications whether it's prints or digital services including some big names such as la times or wall street journal Apple talked heavily about privacy, that Apple does not see what content you're reading. This is going to be ad-free and no ad will ever follow you because none of this information is being shared with anybody. It will be available today in US and Canada. They also include about a dozen Canadian publications which will also be available in English and French. Next, let's talk about Apple Pay. Apple Pay is coming to transit in Portland and then later on in New York City and Chicago. But the star of the night was Apple Card, which is Apple's credit card. They partnered with Goldman Sachs and MasterCard as the network provider to be able to offer this to the customers. So if you apply for one of these cards, you would be able to have instant access after a few minutes, if you're obviously approved, using your Apple devices. It is accepted worldwide wherever Apple Pay is accepted. They also offer an optional titanium uh, credit card that you will be able to have so you can also use it in places that they do not accept uh, Apple Pay. There are a lot of things very unique and different about their card. Let's say if you want to get information about a particular transaction or change your billing address, you can do it through the Messages app. This card does not have any annual fee, late fee, they also claim it's going to have low interest rate. They also said they do not have any over limit fee or any international fee, so it's free of all kinds of fees. They said their goal is to actually help customers to pay down their balance instead of make it more difficult for them. For example, after updating the wallet app, you will have access to a new feature that would help you determine exactly how much you want to pay or you should pay to be able to control the amount of interest you're paying. So again, Apple is being very Apple-y with transparency and wanting to help people. So they claim that they put all these things in place to try to make it easier for consumer to be able to pay down their credit card. That comes with a series of other features such as automatically categorizing your expenses uh, with cool fancy icons. So it's very visual for you to be able to control where and how you spend your money. And last, they talked about some of the rewards you get. So all transactions, when you use your card, you get 2% cash back. If you purchase at an Apple store, you will get 3% cash back, which is kind of like a 3% discount if you think about it. And if you use the physical card, you get 1% cash back. The other thing that is unique about this card is the cash back, it's an actual cash back, it's not a point system. You actually get cash and it will go into your Apple cash card. You actually get that cash back daily instead of waiting an entire month for that amount to come back available to you. So once you spend something, next day you're gonna have that cash back reward available to you. Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade is a new subscription service for gaming. In the beginning, they offer over 100 titles for you to play and you pay a flat fee, which they did not announce how much that will be. You will have access to all these content. These are ad-free. You do not need to buy anything to play the game besides the subscription. You can play all of these games offline and nobody will have any information or control about what games you're playing. Those are all essentially stored locally on your devices. These games are all exclusive to Apple Arcade, so you will not find it in any other platform. Also for parents, you can use screen time feature to control the amount of um, games and time that your, uh, your kids 
are using uh, the Apple devices to play some of these games in Apple Arcade. It will be available in over 150 countries, but more information to come on that. So we don't have an exact time yet. Next, let's talk about Apple TV. So they shared a lot of information about Apple TV. I know everyone anticipated Apple was going to come out with some streaming service. Now, they gave us a lot of interesting information, but they left a lot of questions unanswered. So check this out. First, they talked about the update to Apple TV app. Apple's goal is to be able to offer a simple platform for you to watch all your content. So for example, in the new Apple TV app, you can watch Hulu, you can watch um, your local channel, or you can watch CNN through whatever subscription you have, let's say uh, DirecTV, and it's going to bring all that under one platform. If you watch your uh, movies uh, through iTunes, or if you have a current local library, so all that is going to be in Apple TV app. So that was the first announcement they had. The second announcement was, Apple TV app now is going to be available in smart TVs, first starting with Samsung in spring, and then LG, Sony, and Vizio to come after that. Also, they said Apple TV app will be available in Roku, 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 Roku and, and Fire TV. The next, they talked about Apple TV channels. So, uh, they said instead of you pay for a bundle and have all kinds of channels, uh, which you may not even use half of them, you get to control and choose which channels you want and only pay for those. And through Apple TV app, they made it very simple for you to do that and sign up for some of these other TVs. So essentially you have to pay all of these individual subscriptions and Apple TV app and Apple TV channels, they kind of like bring them all together. And by the way, Netflix is not included. They decided to not to come on board. An Apple TV app will be available in May. Then they spent about 40 minutes trying to talk about their new streaming service and all the original content. And they call it Apple TV Plus. Apple TV Plus will be a subscription paid subscription service that you will have access to high quality original content. They brought Jennifer Aniston or uh, Steven Spielberg and ultimately they ended it with Oprah to try to really show how serious they are about the original content and the quality of the original content. But they didn't give us any more information as far as when it will come out or how much it's going to cost. They said just more information to follow. So that was a little bit disappointing. So this was the summary of Apple News Plus, Apple Pay, Apple Arcade, and Apple TV, which include Apple TV Plus, Apple's new subscription service, which they didn't tell us when it starts and how much it costs. Disappointed. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoy this content. Please comment down below. Let me know which of these services are you excited about and if you have any predictions. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'll see you in the next one.